Hello friends, it is Chelsea, aka Hungry Hungry Hippo, and welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing my plan with me for the week of August 23rd through the 29th of 2021. This is my recollections neutral vertical planner, all the good things. And for this week I'm going to be using this huge kit, both physically and like four pages of huge from paper and gumption this is called shoot for the moon now this week i am kind of torn on what to do because these full box checklists are absolutely stunning i don't know if i am going to be able to let me let me just see if i can like zoom in oops let me see if i can like zoom in can you see the gorgeous like celestial detailing in those boxes like I just I want to use them but I know that if I use the full box checklist I won't use like literally half of this kit so anyways I'm kind of torn on what to do but I'm gonna show you the um, the kit and then I'll figure out what I'm gonna do so the first page here has checklist strips full boxes, uh, appointment labels, quarter boxes, and those gorgeous full box checklists. And then we've got, um, these are all like uh, sidebar headers and things, and then glitter headers, um, little things, hydration trackers, and three heart checklists. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll incorporate those. Um, and then short checklists and your weekend banner, bottom washi, an extra full box, washi strips, some like, I don't know, eighth boxes bunch of half boxes, your date covers, and then this page has your, um, or not your, but some tall boxes, um, the deco and functional bits, and then it also has some, uh, your sidebar stuff, so, and also an extra box with, um, an alternative skin tone, which is nice, and then these, like, so this is, and also these icons, this, this is her newly, oh gosh, this is her new leaf, like, as of when I'm recording this and when I purchased this. Or I should say when I purchased this, because I purchased this quite a while ago. But this is, like, her newest format, so it's completely new for me. So what I'm thinking I might do is kind of set it up like normal. And then because of the fact that these three heart checklists contain the same detailing, and there are also some top three headers, I think what I may do is on the first or the top header of each day wherever that may be I think I'm going to put the top three header and put these three heart checklists in here and so that way I'm using these gorgeous checklists in a new exciting way but um, I'm going to stop blathering and we are going to set up this week let's go ahead and do it my phone which if you guys don't know I use to record my videos decided to be a complete jackass and it did not record any of this so yeah i'm just going through and putting down the checklist and stuff and i apologize so anyways i guess we'll just get right back into it
guys, we are back. It is currently Sunday afternoon, and I really don't know what's going on for the rest of the day, so I'm just going to go ahead and lay down the rest of this spread, and then once I figure out what's going on, I'll fill in the rest of the planner. So, things look quite a bit different than uh, they did the last time I saw you, which is when I laid down the base. So, yeah, let's go ahead and just jump right into this. So, the first thing on Monday, I've you know, today is Sunday, so I haven't filled out my... Um, completely filled out my sidebar. So starting off on Monday, I'm going to lay down a couple of stickers. Um, I didn't write down where any of these are from again, but for the most part, I think I know. So um, I had to go get some lab work. This little syringe is from Piper Paper Company. Um, I also did some laundry. This little washer is from PMD Print and Plan or P. PND, PMD, I'm not sure. Um, and then this vacuum, little vacuum cleaner is from the same as shop. I love these little icons. They're printables that you purchase um, and print for yourself. And they're super tiny, so they're nice and awesome. Um, and then I also had to pick up some medications. This little pill bottle is from Four Daisies Designs. I don't think that shop is open anymore, but I'm not 100% sure. And then we had to go get some groceries, and this is again from PMD or PND, I'm not sure, print and plan. So moving on to the second half of the week, I had a doctor's appointment in the morning. I um, think you guys probably can tell I've been, or maybe not you can't tell and whatever, but I've been suffering from some anxiety issues, and so... Um, I went to the doctor to kind of try and get some anxiety medications and she agreed to give me some but she also wants me to go get a second opinion from my GI doctor or from a GI doctor so this is from I believe Danny Faith Designs and then the news of the day was that my grandma has COVID yet again. The first time I am 100% convinced was a false positive but this time it was definitely 100% COVID and this is from Chasing Chels again I think. I will go ahead and just stop trying to identify the stickers and I'll flash the names of the shops on screen like I did last week. That worked out really really well. I think anyway if it's bothering you guys let me know and I'll, I'll see what I can do but yeah this just makes it so that way I link the shops in the description box but you know if I'm using the same shop multiple times it may be kind of difficult for you to find where a sticker is from if you, you know, if you're not able to keep up. So anyways, I will go ahead and just do that for the rest of the video. So just bear with me. If I miss a shop name, let me know and I will um, fix that. This is really hard to see. I wasn't going to use, um, you can see up here, I ended up using a white gel pen, but this dark blue is gorgeous, but it's a little hard to see the writing on it, but that just says that my mom had to work. My mom literally worked every day this week. It was kind of crazy. So on Tuesday, I had to work, and I almost told you where that sticker was from, but like I said, I'm gonna flash it on screen, so we're not gonna worry about that. And then um, I don't have a ton to mark, so I am going to go ahead and mark that we had family dinner on this night. Um, my sister-in-law and my brother had their first OB appointment for their new addition, and so I think they just really wanted to come over and show the pictures, the ultrasound pictures. So they ended up ordering us pizza, which did not fare well for my system. And I ended up just going to bed early. And I'm actually, what I'm going to do, the only thing I'm going to put, because I literally went to work, came home, ate food, and went to bed. So I think what I'm going to do is use some deco behind this uh, sticker and just kind of like decorate the area. The good thing about this kit is that, first of all, it's absolutely freaking gorgeous. But second of all, it kind of like there's a lot of like sleeping and, you know, just gorgeous little elements. And so... Yeah, we're just gonna, so this, yeah, this is what I'm gonna do. And hopefully, I mean, I like it. I think it looks good. Just to fill up that space, because literally, like I said, went to work, came home, ate dinner, and went to sleep because I just didn't feel well. Moving on to Wednesday. Again, not a lot of stuff happened. 
so the first thing I'm going to mark is that it was trash day. Yeah, I don't, <laughs> I don't have a lot of stuff. I'm like this week, I just wasn't feeling well, so I basically just like came home, ate, and went to bed. Like I really wasn't feeling well. I was just not like COVID sick, but like just like physically, mentally, just exhausted. So, puppy snuggles, and. I'm going to put some more deco because, again, didn't have a lot to mark and I thought, why not, you know, take advantage of the fact that I don't have a lot to mark and just use some of this gorgeous freaking deco. So, just absolutely stunning. So, that looks kind of silly, but I don't care. All right, flipping over to Thursday. Um, work again. Mom had to work. I did get a happy mail package today, this day, from Nightingale Paper Co. I also did finish reading my book. I was reading the Miss Marple collection from Agatha Christie. Finished that. And then I had a very rough night at work this day. I was supposed to get done working at 8, and I didn't leave until after 9. And... If you guys know, I mean, I literally had been not feeling well all week and, you know, I was, I don't, I don't usually stay up past like seven, eight. So for me to have to work until after nine was definitely not something I wanted to do. So yeah. And then, so this is something new. This, this whole, this whole section is completely new from, uh, when I pre-planned so I ended up putting in a box extender which I literally just made myself using some sticker paper I just literally laid down so you take if you're not familiar which I'm sure most of you are you take the um, sticker like your full box or whatever you want to have on the outside and you stick it on the sticky part of the sticker paper and then you fold it in half, cut it into a strip or you can actually buy them already pre like cut and yeah and then you end up with a cool little box extender so I ended up using this extra full box that says you are my galaxy I put in a full box checklist here um, Friday was payday so I ended up doing some online shopping had the day off um, picked the garden, cooked dinner, and did the dishes. I actually left my Coursera. I was super behind and I just, I kind of just fell out of love with it or fell, how it, whatever that phrase is. And I started working on it on this day and I just, my heart wasn't in it. So I left the course, I left the class planning on taking some time off literally just because I've got a lot going on. And the last thing I want to do is worry about, um, you know, Anyways, and then I also took a shower. Like I said, it was payday. Got some happy mail from Glam Planner. My mom had to work all day and I watched diners, drive-ins, and dives. I'm also going to um, mark, I ended up talking to my friend on the phone for a little bit. And I started reading a book called The Namesake, which so far I'm quite enjoying it. I'm almost halfway <laughs> done with it which is saying something so awesome that's just how that's gonna be and then this is actually doing really really well because what I did was I actually um, I put the box the full box down and then you can see here there's a little bit of an edge so I actually cut the paper just a little bit longer than the box needed to be and so it would fold over a little bit better so if you are having some troubles with your full box extenders, I think I actually got this tip from Randy from uh, Planner Pixie Co. She does this a lot and yeah, it's just, it worked out really, really well. So anyways, moving on to yesterday, Saturday, I ended up cutting and filming my August monthly, cut the kit and then filmed the August monthly spread, dusted, emptied the dishwasher, and like I said, spent most of the day reading. Let me grab the book here. Here it is, The Namesake by, I don't, I'm not even going to pronounce that, I'll butcher it. It's actually um, a movie, which I have never heard of the movie, but there it is. And it's got this guy in it, what's his name? Something, what is it? Cow Pen, is that right? Anyways, 
good stuff. Um, and then, yeah, my mom had to work again, of course. And then I ended up just binging CSI in Miami. And I did some more online shopping because what is my life? Except me, obviously, spending a bunch of money that I don't need to be spending. But I will have to say I did order some new bras, um, which I am pretty excited about. So <laughs> anyways, moving on to, I'm not excited about it in like the sense of like, oh my gosh, can't wait till it gets here. But like, I'm excited in the sense that I like actually used my money for something that it, I needed to purchase, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Anyways, um, Sunday, today, planning and filming. So I, I, I thought I was pretty, I was pretty, thought I was pretty clever for um, using this. And then of course my mom had to work again today. Not sure what I'm gonna put in here, but I do have another full box checklist that I'm also gonna add to the bottom of the day, just because again, I, I really don't know what I'm gonna do for the rest of the day. I did start working on some sticker organization. One of the things that I bought yesterday was some photo pockets. Um, I bought several actually photo pockets and I'm gonna start trying to organize my stickers out of the bin that I have them in and into binders. Um, just so that they're more laid out and I can see them a little bit better. So anyways, I digress. Started doing a little bit of that today. I've kind of abandoned it because honestly, I want to have the photo pockets available so that I can actually sort the stickers and look through what I have, etc, etc. And then I did spend a little bit of time tidying up. Those of you who don't know, I have two rooms up here upstairs in our house. Um, my bedroom and then like this area that I'm in now, which I guess technically could be called like an office. I don't like to use that term because it makes me feel pretentious, but, and then at some point I checked it off, but at some point today I'm going to take a shower and probably do my nails and all of that. And then, like I said, I don't know what, I don't know what I'm going to stick here. So anyways, let me go ahead and open this up and I'll show you guys what is in what this spread has turned out to look like so far. Um, we're getting there, getting there. There we go, there we go, look at that. I think this kit would look really gorgeous with some hollow foil, but I don't have a ton of hollow. Anyways, here is the finished spread, kind of. Sunday's obviously not finished, but you know, it is what it is, I guess. I don't know, you guys. Whatever. Thank you all so much for watching. And until I see you next time, bye-bye.